Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to make jib-jab type animations inside of Flash and Photoshop. Or you could also do this in GIMP, which is Photoshop free. Basically, what I did was I went and I took all these different body parts of Sarah Palin, the most animated person I know in politics, and I divided all of these different body parts into all of their individual pieces. Probably the most complicated thing I did was I cut out the jaw and then just left this black area inside of here, which is very common for what you see with jib jab animations. And then I saved all of these individual pieces onto their own layers. So that's what I did with Photoshop. And then I saved it. Then you want to come over into Flash. And I'm going to go File, Import. And I want to import to Library. And I'm going to find my Photoshop file and it automatically selects everything. And I want to put them all over here. And you can see just that easily. They're all in their separate little pieces. Now what I need to do is come in and create a symbol for each part. So I'm going to have my head, which is actually going to be a movie clip because I'm going to put the head and the jaw on the same symbol. And then I got left arm, and this is going to be a graphic symbol, right arm animation. And the rest of all of the symbols that I create are all going to be graphic symbols. Okay, so I have all my symbols created. Let's just start with the head first, since it is the movie clip. And what I want to do is I want to come over here and drag my head onto this stage symbol. And then I'm going to be animating the head but where I have this placed right now, this marker, which defines how I can transform, see how it rotates around that symbol. I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is right now. And I'm gonna drag my jaw all over, and I'm gonna put my jaw on a different layer. Of course, JibJab does this in much more complicated ways, but I can't really get into sound inside of Flash at the same point in time here. So what I'm gonna do is just make this real simple. You create a keyframe here, create a keyframe here, Create additional keyframes, and then I'm just going to make our jaw just open and close. So there it's open, and there I'm just going to let it the way it is, and then inside of here, I'm going to create a classic tween. And there you go. Got Sarah Palin's mouth opening and closing in jib jab style. Then I'm going to come over here to the body symbol that I created before, and the graphics name suit. That's all that I need to do with that. The crotch. I call it waist, and drag it over here. Left arm animation, drag the left arm onto the screen. Left leg, drag the left leg on. Right arm animation, just drag my right arm onto the screen. Right leg. Okay, so I have all my individual symbols created here. I'm just gonna call this background. And all I did here was I took a picture of the White House, and then I traced it so that everything's vector art. And then I can start defining all my layers. So, left leg, right leg, crotch, body, left arm, right arm, and head. And then I'm going to drag my left leg here onto the screen. So just find my left leg, drag it here onto the screen, and drag the right leg over into the right leg layer. Do the same thing with the crotch. Do the same thing with the body. And I'm going to position these in a minute. And they got a little bit pixelated on the edges. You can fix that up inside of Flash. It always happens when you import from Photoshop. Grab my left arm. Grab my right arm. And then grab my head, which is a movie clip, remember. And there's Sarah Palin's big head. I'm actually going to transform these all to 65%. OK, now I want to position everything. So. Let's just take the body, let's put it right there. Left leg, let's put in what's going to represent the crotch area. It's going to represent the feet. It's going to represent the arms. And I'm just defining all these pivot points again. And if I grab her head, and let's say I want to size this, make it look a little bit nicer. I don't want to size the background, so I'm going to lock the background. Zoom out here and position her on stage. Fit in window, and there you got her. Now, if I want to start animating everything, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right-click, 
create motion tween. It's automatically going to do 24 frames per second, so it's going to create 24 new frames. And I'm going to create a motion tween for each one of these guys, except for the background. And I actually know I'm going to go to 48, so I'm just going to go to 48 for this and create a new keyframe by hitting the shortcut F6. Now I can come in here and start playing around with everything. So I'm going to create a whole bunch of keyframes. And say I want to play around with this arm animation right here. So halfway through, I'm going to want the arm to be rotated right like this. And then I'm going to want, I'm going to move the pivot point again. I'm going to want this left arm to be in this position right like that. Create motion tween for the head, put a keyframe in here. And then I can pivot this head around as well. And let's say I want to move the feet, and then move the feet this way. Okay, so if I want to extend this animation, I'm going to come out here to frame 48, hit F6, 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 create all kinds of new frames here. I'm actually going to grab this frame, drag it out. So there, I got the White House still here in the background. And if this new frame, I want to take her head, move it over here, take this arm, move it in like that, take the other arm, move it out, take her body and move it a little bit maybe, do the same thing with the crotch, and a right leg, and a left leg. And you can see, if I come in here and actually hit return, it animates her just like a jib-jab type animation. And then if I want to test the movie, just come up here, hit control, test movie, and test it. And then there you see Sarah Palin dancing around just like a jib-jab cartoon. And I can zoom in here. So basically all that I would need to do is to come in here and get these individual graphics and cut out all these little white trailing garbage mess ups here on screen and everything would be just like it is in JibJab, except of course I'd have to put sound and music and all these other different things to it. So that's basically how you create a JibJab type animation inside of Flash. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Till next time.